Hey guys, this is Claudio Giuliano here, and today I am coming at you with a new video. And today I wanted to share with you guys my new brush set for Paintstorm Studio that is now available that is called the Real Ink Index. So in today's video, I wanted to demo the set for you guys. I wanted to show you a bunch of different stuff. I wanted to show you how it works, what makes it different, uh, what makes it unique. So we are going to show a bunch of different examples of the brush set today. And we're also going to compare it to what comes stock with Paintstorm in terms of their ink category. So of course, I designed the brush set for myself and it has really exceeded my expectations. It's come out much better than I ever thought it would. It's something that I cannot go without now. It's something I use every day in my workflow. And I want to break down the how and why of that. This is a unique brush set in a couple different ways. One is this is the first set of ink tools that are dynamic and responsive in that the brush set was designed to respond to your hand. It responds to your hand and technique. And it does that through being designed upon various layers of dynamics. And those dynamics work in combination with Paintstorm's engine to deliver really awesome results in both look and feel. That allowed me to truly capture these analog mimics and it's allowed me to capture things that I've tried to create for years that I was never able to really pull off. Uh, with this set and the combination of Paintstorm, I was finally able to pull off some of the things I always wanted to pull off in the digital space. The other thing that is unique about the Ink Index is the brush set was specifically designed around specific pen technologies. So I started designing the set specifically for Apple Pencil uh, with its curve in mind, with, a, with you know, the nuances in mind. Um, and then I went on to refine the set for Wacom's technology in the Pro Pen 2. And that gave me a unique approach. And that allowed me to create unique results for each pen technology. Uh, one of the big things about this set is that it's done with the mathematics of the specific pen technologies curve their 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 natural curves it's designed with those mathematics in mind and then we take those mathematics implement th those things into the actual brush designs uh, in a variety of different ways which i'm going to show you also i've taken all of my knowledge from the analog and i've brought that over to what i've designed here for paintstorm so my knowledge of m the work I used to do with sable brushes and brush pens, my, my knowledge from being a sign painter and sign writer and, and, and those kind of tools. So I've taken that and I've applied all of that to w what I made here in the Real Ink Index. So the one thing I felt that was missing from the software was a solid set of inking tools right out of the box. And this set is made so you can take the whole thing in in one category and just really get right to work. So we're going to start with showing you what comes with the software in terms of their ink category. And then we're going to show a little bit of that. And then we're going to go right into demoing the ink index. And we're going to go right into showing you the attributes of it, how it works the way it does, why it works the way it does, and the reasoning behind it. So let's get into it. Now, what I am showing you here is the stock stuff that comes with Paintstorm. The ink category is really kind of weird. Um, uh, and, and what I'm showing you here is, you know, you have these brushes that have this post correction on them. Uh, you know, there's really nothing adhering to the analog for their ink category here. These things that they have in here are really cool for like added effects for detail work, you know, when you're done, when you're close to finished with your piece. Uh, but these are, none of these brushes in here in the category are good for for inking, for baseline inking and, and really going in and getting detailed ink work. So while I feel a lot of this stuff in here is cool and I do use some of it as well, but I feel that 
the category in terms of just the actual brush designs, uh, a lot of them are straying from, uh, you know, the, the, the real tools, straying from the feel. Inkers are more particular. There's a lot of subtle nuance, you know, to really try to capture a true analog mimic in the digital space of, of ink. But, you know, it's a thing where we're not only trying to capture the look, um, it's about the feel too. So both are equally as important. And, and that's really how the ink index works. That's what it's all about. It's not just about how things look. It's very much about the feel. And we approach this in a different way, building the ink set with various layers of dynamics and making it respond to your hand. And that allowed me to create really new results in this space. Here is the set pulled up here. And as you can see, we have a wide variety of, of different inkers here, and they all give you different results. Uh, I want to start laying down lines here with, with uh, one of the brushes. And this is one of the Dynamic Sable brushes. Uh, this one's called the Dynamic Sable Loose Brush. And the Dynamic Sable brushes are some of my favorite brushes that you can find in the set. I want you to take note of how our lines are laying down here. And if you were to go pull up a video right now of someone working traditionally with a sable brush, uh, I think you would, you would see um, how similar the results are. Now when it comes to the pressure dispersion, um, what we have going on here is we are getting a result that gives us accurate dispersion through the entire spectrum, from the lightest end of the pressure to the full end of the curve. And that's what allows us to catch the, uh, the this natural pressure dispersion here, okay? And when, when we analyze the strokes here and we look at them, as you can see, there's no post correction on them. They're capturing the organic flow of my hand when I go in for the very small detail here, uh, because of the way that the, the brush is designed, you can see where the, the dispersion is carrying through even on the tiniest of stroke. Um, and it takes a lot actually to pull this off to, to really get this right. And part of what helps get that right is the various layers of dynamics that are built into the brush. Every subtle tilt that I make with my wrist uh, the brush responds to those. Um, so as you can see here, when I when I tilt my wrist further up toward toward the sky, basically, you can see that the stroke is changing there. And all of this is done in kind of like a strategic way. Um, it's done in a way that when you just start going in and start inking naturally, the, the brush is going to respond how you would want it to respond. So th there's two layers going on here. You're getting a beautiful result in terms of look, and you're also going to get the feel that directly f mimics that analog feel. Um, that gives you that dispersion of pressure. There, there's a lot of things going on here. Here we have a looser style uh, brush uh, of the Dynamic Sable brush, uh, which gives you kind of like a thicker stroke. Well, I want you to watch as I flick this this lineup when i flick my wrist up i want you to watch how the stroke is going to respond to that and how it's going to be how, how the feathering is going to work out here um how how the stroke is going to follow through and, th and this is one of those things that i'm talking about that it will respond to the technique so if you're going to start feathering here the brush is going to respond to the feathering um and and as i lay it down you'll see the brush respond to this and I'm going to start flicking out. So I press down a bit and then I flick out. And you can see how the brush, you can see how the stroke and the dispersion of pressure is following all the way through. And that is allowing me to not only work really fast, uh, it's allowing me to capture the feathering in a way that, uh, that I've never seen captured before uh, in the digital space. Um, so... The brushes respond to various subtle movements of your wrist and your hand, the tilt of your wrist, uh, the angle, the direction. We have various layers of dynamics here. So 
that's a big part of what's helping bring forth the results that we get here with the ink index. The other thing is, if you look, you'll notice how we are getting two things. We're getting perfect dispersion. Even if we zoom all the way in until we pixel out, you'll see how we are getting perfect pressure dispersion through the entire spectrum of the stroke. And we are getting that beautiful crisp look at all zoom levels when we ink with the brushes in the ink index. So that means your live working environment is giving you the exact results that your final exported piece will uh, be. You're getting to see that basically in real time when you work in Painstorm. And that adds to that, that analog effects and that analog layer that Painstorm has. Very cool. And since they are responding to your hand in such a way, that means you're going to also get a really great uh, experience for hand lettering, for one-shot lettering, for script, things like that. Uh, uh, so that's another thing that the set uh, is able to pull off. You know, th anything that requires varied pressure inking, um, the set is going to respond to in really a new way. And that's kind of hard to show in video. It's also kind of hard to show with the pencil because we don't see the dynamics in the live way. Uh, I mean, you do, but it's harder to catch on video. When I, in, in a little bit, we're going to move over to uh, the Wacom technology. Uh, and I want to show you how, how it works with the Wacom. And I want to show you uh, how it works there because then you'll be able to see the live dynamics. And that gives a better idea on, um, on, on how the brushes respond to your hand. And uh, I think that'll give you a clearer vision and put more context to, to, to what I mean by that. Also found in the ink index, there is a group of dynamic sable brushes that are built upon having a wash effect built in. And this is a thing that would happen if you were working with the analog tool like a sable brush you are able to create these wash effects to bring forth form to render. And uh, the way that these work, it's based on pressure. So the less pressure you put down, the more of the wash effect you're going to create. And as you apply more pressure, that's when you're going to get the deeper black ink. Uh, in this group of dynamic sables that has the wash effects built in, some have the wash effect uh, in, in a bigger way and some have the wash effect in a more subtle way. I think you guys will have a lot of fun with these. I use them a lot. We also have other specialty brushes for inkers that are more bristle-like, that have more texture to them, also built on layers of dynamics. So you can get a lot of really cool effects with these ones. Um, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with these. I've been using them for a variety of things and they are really fun to work with as well. This next one I'm going to show you is the standard sable brush. It gives a different result than the dynamic sable brushes. Uh, although it's still dynamic, it's still built on the same layers, uh, it does give a different result. So this the, the standard sable is something I use a lot. It's less sharp, uh, lays down a really nice line. I really, I really love working with the standard sable as well. Um, and I think what you'll notice as we keep going is each brush in the set is really designed to give you different results all the way around. Um, so sometimes I'm mixing and matching all of the brushes in the set. Sometimes I'm just using one for an entire piece. I wish I could show you every brush today, but we're not going to have enough time to do that. I'll have a bunch of examples, though, and, uh, and different samples um, in, in, in the store that you'll be able to you know, see and get a visual on the other stuff. I'm also including a bunch of experimental brushes in this set, and one of them I want to show you, uh, and I'm not going to be able to show you all of them, but I'll show you uh, an example of it. Uh, these are what I call the 3D inkers. So anything that is labeled 3D ink is actually going to be a 3D brush, and, it, it, and you can work with it in a way where you can kind of think in this sculptorly way is what I call it instead of a painterly way. Uh, instead of having to think in line or tone, you can kind of think like a sculptor with these brushes. Now, they're experimental. They're still in uh, 
the experimental phase i'm seeing where i can take them but they are really fun to work with and they're cool to mix into uh your work especially mix into something like line work um it allows you to quickly add dimensionality and different effects. Also, really fun and cool to create 3D letter forms with these. And since we're getting that same kind of dispersion that we get with the other brushes in the set, we can do a lot of cool letter forms and different things like that. These are fun. They're fun to work with. I think you guys will have fun with these, the 3D inkers. And... A big part of what makes the set work the way it does and do what it does is is being that the set was designed very much with the Paintstorm engine in mind. They, it's really working in unison with the engine. And one of the things that I spoke about when I first started to demo Paintstorm for you guys a couple of years ago, one of the things we talked about was how the engine gives you that true analog mimic and it begins to bridge the gap between the digital space and the analog space. And one of those things I talked about was that you could learn how to paint right here in Paintstorm and go right to a canvas and pretty much besides a few small things, everything you're going to implement would be exactly the same. And that same thing holds true for the way you would work with line and ink. Paintstorm does the same thing for ink as well. And as we ink this piece here, we're going to talk about some of those attributes of the engine and the brush set working in combination with that. Uh, and we're going to talk about a few other things. So when you start laying lines down in Paintstorm for your ink, it, it lays the ink down as it would in real life. And what happens is as you build your piece up, you'll notice that the ink actually builds up with the piece. And this allows you to capture extremely fast transitions, especially with the set and the way that the set is designed. It allows you to capture these transitions in a way that allows you to really fly if you want to work fast or if you are a fast worker. And then what it does is it starts to bring forth this dimensionality and pop and form. Uh, so when you start getting into your detail, when you start going in and building your form up, what you begin to see is you, you start to see it kind of pop off the screen in this new way. Now, the other thing here with the set is when we start going in uh, for the finer detail and when we start going in for anything that is made up of finer lines like for example here when we start to uh, get into um, some of the feathers here on the owl um, what the, the way that it's designed is when we start going in for those very small lines for the very tiny lines what happens is the 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 dispersion of pressure stays consistent uh, at all levels of the pressure spectrum. So when you start going in for the more hairline detail, we are still getting consistent dispersion of pressure all the way through the stroke, even on the very tiniest of strokes. And that means the set is also going to be awesome if you have a very light hand, especially if you are working with iPad Pro and the pencil. Uh, it's really designed around that. And I, myself, I have a really ultra light hand. And as I lay the lines down here and, I, and, and, and as I work here and get these feathers in, you can see even when I'm going in for the very small, tiny detail and the tiny lines, uh, I have no problem uh, in terms of getting that, dis that dispersion of pressure to come through how I would want it to come through. And then when I start going in and start inking the other feathers here that have more form and more dimensionality to them, uh, this goes back to the set working in unison and in combination with the engine. And also it goes back to the other things like the set responding to your hand and responding to the technique. Um, and also it goes back to the set being heavily designed with the pencil's natural curve in mind. So all of these things combined together equal up to really cool new experiences. So, for example, 
what happens here when when we start inking something that has more dimensionality, we almost in a way start to see the form automatically built. Uh, and, and that's from a couple things. That's from the set responding to your hand. It's also from the the paintstorm engine laying down the ink and, and kind of building that ink up. So what you'll find is you'll see that your transitions from dark to light or vice versa, you'll see that they happen extremely fast with the ink index. And then also you'll feel it almost feel like the like the brush almost knows what you want to do when you start going in to, to do something like build form and, and, and transition. Um, and then that result gives us something new. It gives us a new kind of result because it pops the form in this kind of new way. And it's really something that you guys will have to get your hands on, try, and see in person with your own work. But I really think the combination is going to enhance your work. And I think you're going to have just so much fun when you see how this works for yourself. And I really think when you start to see how it will enhance your own work, I think that's when you guys will start to get excited about it. I'm really excited to see what you guys do with this set. Also included in the set are dry inkers and more of a dirty style inker, kind of like a china marker, kind of giving a more waxy feel and uh, you know a more gritty feel. Uh, I have a lot more that I'm working on that will you know go in as we update the set over time, but these are really fun to work with and give a cool result. Of course, giving you the benefits of all the other brushes as well. Uh, but with a different look and and you know a different a bit of a different feel as well. And what's also really cool about these is you can work with them in a very sketchy way. So when you start shading and building your form up and rendering, uh, you can kind of work with these inkers like a pencil. Uh, so you can kind of get really sketchy with them, and then you can also go in for more precise, you know line work uh, with these. And these are really fun to work with. I really enjoy these. Uh, and I have a lot more of, you know, this style of, of inker coming. And, you know, when I went into doing the set, of course, I really just did the set for myself. Uh, and, and, and I did it just because I really felt that Paintstorm needed a really solid set for inking. Uh, but I also went into it saying, you know, I'm, I don't want to put a lot of time into this unless I could truly pull off something different. And also, I, I didn't want to put the time into it. If, if I couldn't pull off some of the things I've always wanted to pull off, I didn't want to, you know, really take and spend that much time doing it if I couldn't pull those things off. And, and this is really some of the stuff that I've always wanted to pull off in the digital space for years that I'm finally able to really do and pull off. And that's because we really just get so much control in Paintstorm. And that's because in, in terms of a brush, we have uh, at pretty much absolute control over a brush. We are able to, we are able to basically uh, design every single part and piece that makes the brush up. And that is really a big part of what allowed me to pull off what I have here. So I transitioned fully to digital, I would say about 15 years ago. I've been in the graphic arts for 20 years, uh, but uh, I, I would say about 15 years ago is when I fully transitioned to digital. Back in the day, I used to scan the pencils in. I used to scan the ink work in, and that's how I would work it. And we've come a long way since those times. And what, what it really kind of boils down to is it's really fun to work with. And what makes it fun is being able to pull off those things that I always wanted to pull off in the digital space. It's, the set has really helped uh, enhance my work and enhance uh, you know workflow. Another thing I wanted to show you guys uh, that is included in the set are the pattern brushes and uh, the halftone brushes. And uh, pretty much I started showing you guys the majority of the set, I would say about a year and a half ago to two years ago, and I, I showed you guys the halftone examples on Twitter. And these are based off of uh, some of the stock ideas that have that are built in, in the software. Paintstorm has had the ability to turn any brush into a pattern brush, into a, into a multi-pattern brush, a double brush, you know, 
it goes really deep and it's had this stuff built in since 1.0 uh, and that made it just r really easy to make awesome pattern brushes and half tone brushes and you know it could be really any pattern that you can do uh, this this with so you can paint with half tone here you can sketch with half tone you can catch a lot of cool and unique results with the half tone brushes that are found in the real ink index uh, there's a pretty good variety that I'm including in the set. I wish I could show you all of them because each each have you know different results, uh, but really fun to work with. I use them a lot. I think you'll have fun with them. Really cool to mix into your ink work to add depth. Uh, definitely pretty rad. So we are now at the tower. We have the Wacom Intuos Pro, the latest generation, the Pro Pen 2, and the 8000 pressure levels. What I want you guys to take note of is if you look at the cursor, you can now see the layers of dynamics in real time, and you're, you're seeing the live result of that. If you look at that cursor, you'll see that every subtle movement that my hand is making you can see how the brush is going to respond to that. And it responds to all the different subtle movements of my hand. And uh, this is the best way for me to show you and give you visual context of uh, what I mean when I'm saying that, the, that they are dynamic brushes, that they are built on various layers of those dynamics. And when we pull it up here, and when we're using it with the Pro Pen 2 and Wacom's technology, at least in the case of the latest, uh, that further brings forth the analog mimics we get. And uh, really fun to work with the Pro Pen 2. It works great with both the pencil and the Pro Pen 2. Um, so a lot of fun. So I'm going to start showing you guys various examples here uh, with... Wacom's technology, and I want to show you guys how things work here. So a lot of what I've demoed are features that you will really only find with the real ink index, so a good amount of what I've showed you. And this is another one of those features. And this is something I've been trying to pull off in the digital space for years. And finally, I was able to pull it off with the combination of the set and Paintstorm. And this is what I call the dynamic tail snap. What is that? What does that mean? And what that means is this brush that I'm showing you here has a feature that I call dynamic tail snapping. And this brush is made and designed around mimicking the snapback that you would get with something like a, uh, a brush pen or, of course, a sable brush or any other style of ink pen uh, that, that has that brush style tip. This is really awesome, really fun to work with, really different result than the other ones that I've showed you too. Now, the dynamic tail snapping feature is something that's going to work best with the Pro Pen 2. Um, it, it's a little bit different in the way things work with the pencil. So it's there for the pencil, but it doesn't work exactly in the same way. And that's just because of the differences in pen technology and the differences in, the, you know, it's pretty much just the difference in the mantras of the technology. Uh, but I am, you know, further tweaking it f for the pencil to try to pull it off in a better way for the pencil. Uh, so, you know, each, each, you, you know, with each, you're going to get unique things for each. You're going to get unique things for the pencil when you're using the set with the pencil, and you're going to get unique things when you're using it with Wacom's technology as well because there are specific attributes that come through with the pencil that don't come through with Wacom's technology and vice versa. Both really great to use with the set though. Really quickly, I want to talk about the differences of each technology's pressure curve. With Wacom's Pro Pen 2, we have 8,000 plus pressure levels. That's a lot of pressure. So we have a very different curve than what we get with the pencil. Being that I designed the brush set for each technology specifically, that means we're going to get unique results for each input. Even though the pencil has a lot less pressure than the Pro Pen 2 and it has you know, a, a much tighter curve, I designed the ink index around that curve. I designed the ink index to counter that curve. So I designed it to pull 
everything I could out of the pencil. So that means if you have an ultra light hand, if you set the curve to something similar like what I just showed on the screen, that means the pencil is going to pick up strokes and marks on the lightest end of the pressure for the smallest end of the detail. It's going to be able to pick all that stuff up. Where normally, uh, you know, with without these deep designs, uh, you know, you would have a harder time picking up those strokes if you have the light hand. So we are starting with the real ink index, and then the next set that's coming is the paint brushes and the pencils. They're going to be two separate categories, but they're going to be packaged as one brush set. Uh, that's in progress. Still not there on that. Not there yet. But when that's ready, I'll show you that. I'll demo it like we did today, and then that will be the next one that goes up in the store. So if you purchase the ink index, you are also going to get a cool little variety of my workspace UI designs. And those are the bonus that is included with the brush set. And also, all you really will have to do is just move the hockeys around because I'm a lefty and I know, you know, we have a variety of different handed people and everyone sets their hockeys up differently. So all you'll have to do is just move the hockeys to where you want them and then you can just go in with the streamline of uh, the various workspace UI designs that I have. And that is included with the set. So I put a lot of time into the designs that you'll find here in the ink index and it's been really fun to work with and I really think this will be a great investment for a lot of you guys. I think it'll be a great investment if you are new to Paintstorm Studio and uh, you are someone who works with line and does a lot of ink work. Uh, you know, this is designed so you can pop it in in one category and just really get going and get right to work. I also think this will be a great investment if you are someone who is just starting to transition to digital from being an analog worker. Um, and I also think seasoned professionals will really enjoy the set for a variety of different things. So if you guys are interested in the ink index, there is a link in the description below and that will take you right to the store. Also in the download, you'll get a bunch of different instructions and things like that and other tips on how to get the best out of the brush set. So the channel isn't easy for me because my schedule is crazy with the business and the projects that we work on. And the channel alone is a lot of work. Um, and it's something I love doing for you guys. It's something I've been doing for a while. And uh, we will continue doing it for the foreseeable future. But if you purchase the set, of course, you're not only going to be supporting me, but you're mainly going to be supporting the channel to bring you better content and more content in the future. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap up today's video on the Real Ink Index. So first and foremost, I just wanted to say I couldn't be more appreciative of you guys. You know, I was going over some of the messages and I still am blown away that, uh, that you guys have sent me messages about being inspired. Uh, that is something that just blows me away but also that's something that is one of the best parts for me and I am extremely appreciative of everyone here in the YouTube community we have multiple major videos and reviews in the top of the entire platform on the top of, of, of all of YouTube and that was only possible because of you guys sharing commenting liking and subscribing so I, I couldn't appreciate you more Thank you guys so much. And if you get the set at the end of the day, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it. And really, that's the most important thing, having fun.